What's up, DTers? Welcome to another Digital Trends Facebook Live video. I am Andrew. Today we are back at 503 Motoring here in Beaverton, Oregon. And to my left is Tim, the owner of 503. And we're here today to celebrate Monterey Car Week. Tim and some of his best friends are taking a lovely road trip down to Monterey Car Week. And we have some really special cars with us today. Um, Tim, why don't we start with this RW Porsche here. Yeah. Tell, this is your personal oh, no. car, is it not? This is. <clears throat> yeah, we just built this car at the end of June. Uh, this is the fifth RWB in Oregon. It's the second one in Portland, and it's the 269th in the world. So, up here in the Kai came out here and actually built this car in the building. Yeah, this is an incredibly rare car, really cool treat for us. For those of you that don't know, RWB, Akira Nakai, like you said, he's a Japanese Porsche tuner. He does everything by hand, everything by sight. Uh, Really interesting visual style, kind of a nice mixture of Japanese and German style. Really cool stuff. Um, what is the uh, what is the reason for taking the rear spoiler off? Ha! <laughs> so I'm going to get a lot of flack for that. My my thinking is everybody that's ever seen one of these cars in a larger event, it always is in the normal guise with the spoiler and all that kind of stuff, which is amazing and it's obviously what RWB is known for. I wanted to just kind of clean it up a tiny bit. I'm going to go with the factory OEM wing. Um, and obviously I'm gonna get some flack for it, but it also completely aesthetically changes the car and gives it a whole nother attitude. So yeah, I just wanna be a little bit different, I guess, for Monterey this year. Yeah. Uh, so before we more move to the four GTI test, really sure. quickly. Akira Nakai, doesn't he give names to each of one of the cars he built? He does. We, are we privy to that information? Uh, yeah, he, this is one of the longer ones it took him to name, and about three o'clock in the morning, I got a message from him that he named the car Samurai which is in kanji also, it's a, it's a single kanji name, which is very rare for RWB as well. It's a very powerful name as well, so we're extremely honored to have that name. Yeah, wow, so, that's great. Um, yeah, and then we go ahead and take the wing off and, you know, yeah. do Samurai. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so the car was named Samurai, and uh, I mean, truly humbled to have that name. So yeah, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Great, well up next is uh, a legend of American muscle. Obviously yes. there's so much history in this car, starting with the Le Mans winning GT40, but this is the road going version, so to speak. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about this one. Uh, so this is a 2005, we picked this car up about four months ago from a local owner here, uh, just at South of Salem. Um, it actually was a, an older lady's car, believe it or not. Lady. Had about 2,000 original miles on it, and uh, my client, obviously a very good friend now, Mike, um, he wanted one of these cars, it was his childhood dream car, and so we started searching and there it was. So since then we've brought it up here, we've done a full paint correction to it, covered the entire car, paint protection film, uh, we've added these 1221 wheels to it, we've done nothing performance wise yet, there is going to be some things in the works once we get back to Monterey, um, but yeah, I mean, to be able to be on the highway, again, this will be our second road trip now with the GT, um, but with such a rare and low mileage car, it's kind of a dream. Uh -huh. Is this the second time you've been to Monterey on a road trip like this? This is the fourth time we've actually done a road trip, yeah. So we typically do a Monterey, we'll do uh, 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 usually three or four guys, typically we'll go down to San Francisco, we'll go uh, from Grants Pass over to Highway 1, we'll take Highway 1 all the way down to San Francisco, which is an amazing, amazing route if you've yeah. ever been on it. That's going to be a beautiful We'll pick up a couple uh, more buddies in San Francisco and then we'll head the rest of the way down to Monterey. So. And one of the buddies you're picking up in San Francisco is the 488 Spider that we Correct. Met a few yeah, weeks ago, yeah. featured a few weeks ago with Jake and I. Uh, and then also uh, Rod over there, he literally, uh, his uh, 2018 Huracan Spider just came off the plane, uh, went through customs really quick, and they're going to have the car actually delivered over to Monterey for us, and then he'll come back up with us within the car. It's got that new car smell. It does have that new car smell. It's a beautiful car. Yep. Well, next to the GT, we have the creme de la creme, obviously. Wow. The most high performance yes. vehicle here yes. the electric drive smart. <laughs> this is our secret weapon for the trip. Yeah. Yep. Just kidding. All right, right. So let's move on to the Lamborghini. <laughs> uh, this is the super legera, super light, very yep. hardcore race car. Yes. Uh, this, uh, this is Mike Mansfield over here. He's down gentleman with the REI shirt. He's looking at his phone nonstop, but that's him. <laughs> Technology. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Super Legere is an incredible, incredible car. If you've ever uh, had the pleasure of driving a typical Gallardo, um, they have some very interesting driving characteristics. The Super Legere basically removes all of those and becomes a very raw, 
road ready car. Right. It's incredible. Very lightweight, not mm -hmm. a lot of frills in there. No, not yeah. really. No. And it's surprisingly very quiet. Uh, really? Yeah, very comfortable. Wow. Yeah, but it, it's, yeah. So, out of all of these, I mean, you have some really hardcore performance vehicles here. Which one do you think is going to be the most uncomfortable? Uh, you know, actually. Who's going to be in the worst I might, get out of it? I might vote, drive. yeah, I might vote the Ford GT, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, I might vote the Ford GT. I, I don't know. I've never actually, I've road tripped in all of these cars for at least over a thousand miles, not the Ford GT. So I actually have no frame of reference there, but I'm just going to guess that maybe that's not going to be the most comfortable one. So maybe some shakes. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got sport touring seats in the RWB, so I'm comfy go. Yeah. Uh, the Superleggera has sport touring seats as well, uh, carbon back, but I mean, they're still extremely comfortable. And then GT3 RS has the sport buckets, which is a full carbon fixed seat. Uh, but surprisingly, once you get your butt down in there and, and locked in, it's yeah. extremely comfortable. Hmm. So, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll have to do an update once we get down there and tell you guys who, yeah. uh, who's, who's got his butt is more sore. <laughs> or lower back problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do be well, determined. Yep. Well, speaking of the, yeah. the GT3 RS, yeah. kind of like the Superleggera takes the Gallardo and it strips a lot of the frills. That makes it more lightweight and more hardcore. Correct. That's exactly what the GT3 RS does to the 911. Correct. Pretty much as pure a driver's car as you get in the 911 range. Yes, yeah, we brought this car out of uh, Dade County, out of Florida. Um, ultraviolet, um, at the time, it was a rare color to have, and now there's quite a yeah. few of them, but um, this color in the sunshine, I mean, you, when you tell people you bought a purple car, I mean, they, you know, the, the, the comments start to fly, but right. um, when you see the ultraviolet in the sunshine, it is such a striking, striking color. It so, really is yeah, we're really, we're really honored to be able to to road trip 2,500 miles over the next week with these with all these guys. It's gonna be a good time. So, absolutely. Uh, we'll head down to Monterey. We'll get there. We're gonna go down to uh, Eureka. Yeah, we're gonna stay in Eureka okay. tonight, and then we'll continue down the one. Uh, we'll stop in Elk, California. If any of your viewers are in or near Elk, California, uh, it is the best sandwich you'll ever have in your entire life. I think there's <laughs> nine people that live there. Wow. One of them makes a hell of a sandwich. Um, no cell service, no nothing for probably about 120 miles of our drive. Uh, and then we'll get into uh, San Francisco tomorrow <coughs> uh, mid-afternoon, pick up our other buddies, and then we'll head the rest of the way down to Monterey. Your buddy Greg is wondering if he can hear any of these cars rev. No, Greg, you can't. <laughs> You'll hear them all rev in about 36 hours, sir. Oh, Classic That's Greg. who we're picking up in uh, San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in, Greg. Right. Yeah. He has nothing else going on right now. He's got now. the 488? He has the 488, yep. Okay. So we got that delivered down to him. He did a little bit of track time. I think over at Sonoma, Greg, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, and then he's been enjoying that car down there in the Bay Area. So he's very excited to get that over to uh, over to Carmel and, and Monterey Car Week and show it off. So Yeah, we're excited. Uh, we're going to have some coverage from Monterey as well. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow, I believe at around 7, we will have our own Miles Brandman down uh, checking out a new concept unveiling from Acura. Really excited about that. And then Friday, around the same time, we have a Mercedes-Benz concept of unveiling that will be live streaming hopefully both of those. And 7 p.m. PST. Pacific Standard Time. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. And if you guys get a chance, uh, follow us on 503 Motoring. You'll be able to check out. We're going to be uh, front and center at the Quail uh, event, which is, in our opinion, one of the best up-and-coming events and our, our favorite one um, as far as the the, uh, the Pebble Week goes. And then that evening, we'll be over at Exotics on Cannery Row, where all the cars will be lined up. And it is an absolute smorgasbord of the baddest stuff on the planet uh, that you can literally come walk into, see it, meet the drivers, hang out. Uh, that'll be going, I think, from uh, 5 till 8 o'clock at, at Exotics on Cannery Row. Awesome. And then what do we got? Saturday morning is, uh, oh, we have a fuel run Saturday morning, so we'll may be making a high-speed blast out to Laguna Seca, um, having lunch with a bunch of other guys. I think, a, I'm not sure, I think there's 100 cars maybe on that run. Yeah. Maybe wow. that many. Amy, don't shoot me if that's wrong. <laughs> um, but we'll be over there with those guys. That's with the Gold Rush Rally crew putting on the fuel run. Uh, and then Saturday night, shenanigans, I'm sure, of some sort. Uh, and then Sunday we've got you know uh, Pebble Beach, which is you know the the it's the event to go to. So yeah. we'll we'll get suited and booted and kind of grab some champagne and walk the lawn. So that'll be great. Yeah, yeah, we're looking yeah. forward to it. Cool, great. Easy peasy.